Now to an art mystery which has finally been solved. Discovering a new painting by one of the world's most renowned artists is something experts dream of, but of course it happens very rarely. Now cutting edge forensic techniques are making it possible to establish the authenticity of pictures in ways not thought possible before. That's the process one painting believed to be a Degas has gone through. My colleague Fiona Bruce has the results. Blue Dancer or Danseuse Bleu, a painting by one of the great impressionist masters Edgar Degas. At least it was until the 1950s when the foremost Degas expert decided it was fake. Its owners were left holding a painting once extremely valuable, now worth a few hundred pounds at best. What didn't he like about the painting? There were a few things. Um, the face of the dancer, which I think he called trivial. The position of it, I think he, he said it was not a formal pose. And the draftsmanship of the heads of the double bass. Paintings like those at the Musée d'Orsay in Paris by Degas are among the most sought after, and fakes are common and lucrative. After lengthy investigation, it's possible to trace the bills of sale of the Blue Dancer back to the moment it left Degas' studio in 1882. But today's Blue Dancer could have been a later copy of the genuine work. So art expert Philip Mould took the painting itself to be tested for the precise pigments used. So you're going for the bonnet of the, of the dancer? I am, yes. It's the most obvious area where there's white present. If there's titanium white in the painting, for example, used only after Degas' death, the painting had to be fake. Well, this is very encouraging. Um, as you can see here, the main elements found are lead, which is good because it indicates that probably lead white was used and not titanium white. As opposed white. to the dreaded titanium, yes. right. Yes. Phew. And what about the criticisms that the position of the painting's dancer doesn't look right? In one of the rehearsal rooms at the Paris Opera House where Degas loved to paint, a ballerina tries to recreate the pose. So, so yes, looking down, facing forward. That's exactly it, I think. That's it, isn't it? I mean, that is it. The new evidence about the Rice's Blue Dancer was enough to persuade the world's foremost Degas authority that the painting is genuine. Well, brace yourselves. We have the pleasure to inform you that the painting described below that you have submitted for our appreciation is an authentic work by oh, Edgar Degas. It's <laughs> absolutely yeah. fantastic. Yeah. It's a real kind of lesson in not giving up. I really didn't <laughs> think it, it, it um, was possible. Blue Dancer can now take its place among the Degas in galleries around the world. A painting rediscovered, recognized as from the brush of one of the finest impressionist masters.